I am from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but I moved to Florida when I was about 12 years old to pursue my tennis dreams. I think an athlete needs to balance their time. That's probably the number one priority when it comes to me. I try to just stay away from fast foods and a lot of sweets. I love to load up on carbs before any tournament um, and make sure that I keep up on my protein after hard workouts just so that I can recover fully. I play a very aggressive style of tennis, so I think when it comes to my training, I have to make sure that I practice with that high intensity so that in my match I'm able to do the same things and not um, be afraid to go for my shots. I think last year, having such a good spring season, I think I went like 19-5. and five. So far, I think that's probably been one of my greatest achievements. This year, I'm looking to, you know, be a leader to my team and, and make sure that I provide them with good just motivation to reach our team goals. So if I can do that this year, I think that's another, that would be an achievement. I have more fun in doubles, but I'm better at singles. Doubles, I've had to learn that as I played college tennis, and I was not very good at it my freshman year. So um, I didn't enjoy it that much, but now that I've come pretty good at it and I play like number one doubles now, it's, it's fun and I like to play. My weakness is probably like patience and sometimes my mentality can be a little weak, but um, as far as my strength, definitely like my athleticism, my speed, my forehand, and my aggressive game style, definitely one of, are all of my strengths. Inspiration. Might sound a little cliche, but my mom, I think, is my greatest inspiration. She just always knows what to say whenever I'm feeling down or if I have any sort of doubts, had a bad match, had a bad practice. I can call her and she can pretty much, you know, get my head back on straight and I can regain my focus.